गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स डू यू नो अबाउट विटामिन येस और नो येस फाइन यू जस्ट इमेजिन वॉट विल हैपन इफ अ पर्सन इज नॉट गेटिंग विटामिन इन देअर डाइट येस वॉट विल हैपन येस दैट पर्सन विल फेस वेरियस डिफिशियंसी डिसऑर्डर्स इट मीन्स दैट इफ अ पर्सन इज नॉट एबल टू कंज्यूम वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ विटामिन then that person will face series of diseases for example if one person facing some disease during brushing early in the morning if continuous bleeding is there so what will happen immediately that person will reach to the physician or doctor and doctor will recommend certain medicine or certain tablets and after few days that person will be able to solve that deficiency disorder so exactly that doctor will recommend certain medicine do you think what is there in that medicine being a student of botany it is our prime responsibility we should know which disease will face due to deficiency of which vitamins and that's why i have selected the topic based on vitamins for example if i am not able to read continuously it means that there is some problem in my eyes i am not getting vitamins which helpful which is helpful for normal eyesight we know well rods and cones are there in our eyes rods are able to capture color image and cones are able to capture black and white image for normal functioning of rods and cones we require vitamin a so there may be one question in your mind what are different sources of vitamin a so in today's lecture we will discuss what are different sources of vitamin a so remember well likewise if my heart is not working properly if my skin is having some diseases if my metabolic activities are not in a proper it means that there are definitely certain deficiencies of vitamins so in today's lecture we will discuss chapter number 7 that is based on the vitamins so in this chapter we will discuss definition classification of vitamins different sources and their functions so as far as introduction of vitamin is concerned vitamin a group of organic substances that are required in the diet of humans and animals for normal growth maintenance of life and normal reproduction vitamins act as a catalyst very often either the vitamins themselves are coenzymes or they form integral part of the coenzymes a substance that functions as a vitamin for one species does not necessarily function as a vitamin for another species the vitamins differ in structure and no chemical grouping is common to them all they were first called as accessory factors they were first called accessory factors because in 1906 it was found by english biochemist sir f c hopkin that most of the food chain uh, food contains carbohydrates proteins fat minerals and waters in addition to this other substances necessary for health so uh, this person is hopkins as far as this fellow is concerned he is a world fairy world famous scientist who work he devoted his entire life for the uh, isolation of different vitamins so fc hopkins identified different vitamins from different fruits different vegetables so at the end of uh, today's lecture i will show in our laboratory what type of vitamins we have isolated i will show the publication or output of this uh, uh, vitamins we have isolated from different vegetables the word vitamin was derived from the term vitamini used by polish american biochemist casimir funk to describe an amine that is organic base that was essential to life it was later found by the thymine so in 1912 hopkin and funk formulated the vitamin hypothesis of 
deficiency disease that is that contain diseases are caused by dietary lack of specific vitamins so in this chart it is very clearly pointed out that vitamins are categorized into two different groups the first one is water soluble and second that is fat soluble so water soluble vitamins are grouped into two different types the first one is vitamin c and the second that is b vitamins so this b vitamins most of the times we used to call it as b complex or vitamin b series so what vitamins are included in vitamin b series number 1 thymine so this thymine is also called as vitamin b1 second that is riboflavin which is also called as b2 then niacin which is also called as b3 then biotin is there then pantothenic acid is there vitamin b6 is there then folate is there and vitamin b12 so their functions and all other deficiency disorders we will discuss later on now the second group of vitamins that is fat soluble so fat soluble vitamins are number 1 vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k so overall this chart summarize the uh, complete classification of uh, vitamins complete classification of vitamins so number 1 water soluble second that is fat soluble water soluble divided into two vitamin c and vitamin b and then there are different types of b complex series are there and fat soluble of course four types now we will discuss what is the definition of vitamins so vitamins are the substances that our body need to develop and function normally so they include vitamin a vitamin c vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k choline and b vitamins are also there so what are different b vitamins thymine riboflavin niacin then pantothenic acid biotin vitamin b6 vitamin b12 and folate so this folate is also called as folic acid then this folic acid is very important as per as our metabolism is concerned so functions we will discuss later on so the classification of vitamins classification of uh, vitamins vitamins are a group of substances that are needed for normal cell function growth and development so there are 13 essential vitamins these vitamins are required for the body to work properly so what are these 13 vitamins so number 1 vitamin a vitamin c vitamin d vitamin e vitamin k vitamin b1 so this vitamin b1 is also most of the books or most of the reference book it is mentioned that vitamin b1 is thymine so vitamin b2 we can find it as riboflavin vitamin b3 as a niacin pantothenic acid vitamin b5 biotin vitamin b7 then vitamin b6 vitamin b6 and then vitamin b12 cyanocobalamin then folate which is called as folic acid or uh, vitamin b9 so remember well if suppose if i am facing vitamin deficiency then what doctor will recommend doctor will diagnose first from our our blood they will take our blood samples and they will go through the various tests and after that we can get to know which deficiency is there in our blood and then accordingly doctor will recommend the solution for that deficiency in the form of either tablets or in the form of different sources so remember well if any person is facing deficiency disorders it is very important it is very very important to know first which deficiency we are facing so remember well vitamins grouped into two categories vitamins grouped into two categories already i have mentioned the first category that is fat soluble vitamins so fat soluble vitamins are stored in the body's 
fatty tissues the four fat soluble vitamins are vitamin a d e and k these vitamins are absorbed more easily by the body in presence of dietary fat so remember well when we are taking the diet it means that in that diet we are going to take various sources of food number 1 carbohydrate second that is proteins then fat vitamins and minerals so we are talking about the vitamin consumption because for the degradation of protein for the breakdown of carbohydrate for the intake of fat to enhance this process to enhance this process we require vitamins until and unless we are not going to add vitamins in the diet all these metabolic processes are not going to happen in our meta, uh, metabolism or in our body so the first one we know fat soluble second that is water soluble vitamins so remember well there are nine different water soluble vitamins they are not stored in our body it means that these vitamins we have to take from the other sources so any leftover water soluble vitamins leave the body through urine although the body keeps a small reserve of these vitamins they have to be taken on a regular basis to prevent shortage in the body so for example remember well if i am not getting vitamin c or i am not getting vitamin k so due to urination if excess of vitamin is removed from my body in such situation regularly we have to consume that vitamins in our diet so don't neglect diet portion diet portion and as per as uh, the vitamins which we cannot store we have to depend on the external sources so remember well vitamin b12 is the only water soluble vitamin that can be stored in the liver for many years so remember well if we want to store if we want to store water soluble vitamins for long time so this is the very important statement that in our liver it is stored for many years some vitamin like factors are also needed by the body such as choline carnitine and so on so as per as sources of vitamins are concerned so remember well now we know what is vitamin definition of vitamin classification of vitamins there may be one question if suppose i am facing vitamin b1 deficiency in my body so in my regular diet what are different sources from where i can get vitamin b1 in large quantity so remember well the source of vitamin b1 is ham soy milk watermelon as per as vitamin b2 is there for example doctor recommended you have deficiency of vitamin b2 then in my diet i have to increase the intake of milk cheese whole and enriched grains and cereals likewise vitamin b3 if i am having deficiency of vitamin b3 then what are different sources of vitamin b3 remember well b3 is present in large quantity in meat poultry fish whole grains mushrooms potatoes all these are the sources which contain large number of this vitamin now vitamin b5 so this vitamin b5 we can get in large quantity from chicken whole grains broccoli avo avocados and mushrooms we know mushrooms multi purpose oh, oh, functions are there but b5 is more in the mushrooms that's why i am recommending you you just increase the intake of mushrooms as per as Uh, vitamin b5 is concerned so the sources of vitamin b6 so large number of vitamin b6 we can get from meat fish poultry legumes and other soy products and in addition to this we can get vitamin b6 from bananas also so if we are facing deficiency of vitamin b6 we can get a banana in large quantity so what are different sources of vitamin b7 so remember well whole grains eggs soybeans different types of fishes we can get vitamin b7 in large quantity as per as vitamin b9 is concerned so b9 we can get from fortified grains and cereals asparagus so this asparagus everybody knows asparagus uh, commonly 
we can uh, know this plant uh, that is shatavari you know there are so many products are available specially specially uh, for a pregnant woman we are going to give shatavari kadha shatavari balant kadha so there are different products of asparagus in addition to that b9 is present in spinach broccoli legumes so black eyed peas and chickpeas we can get uh, this vitamin in large quantity in addition to that orange juice we can get in large quantity asparagus vitamin b12 nowadays many people they are facing this deficiency of vitamin b12 then there may be one question again in your mind what are different sources of vitamin b12 what we can take in our diet to solve the deficiency of vitamin b12 so remember well meat poultry different types of fishes milk cheese fortified soy milk and cereals we can get vitamins in large quantity now this is the vitamin c this is very popular vitamin c also called as ascorbic acid for what we require this ascorbic acid in large quantity because to solve scurvy disease early in introductory portion i have mentioned if a person is going to uh, brush early in the morning and immediately he observed uh, bleeding in the uh, from the gums it means that that person is having deficiency of vitamin c so how to solve this deficiency in our diet we have to consume vitamin c in large quantity so this vitamin c this vitamin c we can get from citrus fruits potatoes broccoli bell peppers spinach strawberries tomatoes brussels sprouts with different sprouts we can get various types of uh, vitamin c that is ascorbic acid now the second category that is fat soluble vitamins then what are different fat soluble vitamins for example vitamin a so this vitamin a we can get from beef liver eggs shrimps different types of fishes fortified milk sweet potatoes carrots pumpkins spinach and mangoes nowadays remember well so many people nowadays they are facing deficiency of vitamin d because in offices or in the, when the persons are working in uh, air conditions they are not exposed themselves for the sunlight you know and that's why we are facing this deficiency many people nowadays our country is facing many people are facing the deficiency disorders caused due to deficiency of vitamin d so from where we can get this deficient uh, vitamin d source from fortified milk and cereals fatty acids uh, fatty fishes uh, fatty acids or uh, fish we can get in large quantity so vitamin e we can get vitamin e from various types of vegetable oils leafy green vegetables whole grains and nuts so remember well uh, this leafy green vegetables to get the uh, vitamin e everybody knows in addition to these in addition to these there are certain vegetables and there are certain herbs for example aloe vera for example aloe vera from this plant also we are getting large quantity of this vitamin and then vitamin k so this vitamin k disorders many disorders are there as per as vitamin k is concerned so cabbage eggs milk spinach broccoli so we can get these vitamins from all these sources as per as functions of vitamins are concerned functions are very important role because we know the functions so each of the vitamins listed has an important job in the body vitamin deficiency occurs when you do not get enough of a certain vitamin vitamin deficiency can cause health problems not enough eating fruits vegetables beans lentils whole grains and fortified uh, dairy foods may increase your risk of health problems including heart disease cancer and poor bone health which is called as osteoporosis so this is the uh, slide in this slide we can see normal bone and bone with osteoporosis so vitamin a helps from and maintain healthy teeth bone soft tissue 
mucous membranes and the skin vitamin b6 is also called pyridoxin vitamin b6 helps for red blood cells and maintain brain function so this vitamin also vitamin also plays an important role in the proteins that are part of many chemical reactions in the body the more protein you eat the more pyridoxine your body requires as far as vitamin b12 is concerned so this b12 like the other b vitamin is important for metabolism it also helps to form red blood cells and maintain the central nervous system so vitamin c also called ascorbic acid it is an antioxidant that promotes healthy teeth and gums it help the body to absorb iron and maintain healthy tissues it also it is also essential for wound healing vitamin d is also known as sunshine vitamin since it is made by the body after being and being in the sun 10 to 15 minutes of sunshine three times a week is enough to produce the body's requirement of vitamin d for most people at most latitudes people who do not live in sunny places may not make enough vitamin d it is very hard to get enough vitamin d from food sources alone so vitamin d helps the body to absorb calcium you need calcium for the normal development and maintenance of the healthy teeth and bones so it also help to maintain proper blood levels of calcium and phosphorus vitamin e is an antioxidant also known as tocopherol it helps the body to form red blood cells and use vitamin k vitamin k is needed because without it blood would not stick together that is coagulate some studies suggest that it is important for bone health biotin is the essential for metabolism of proteins and carbohydrates and in the production of hormones and cholesterol niacin is a b vitamin that help to maintain healthy skin and nerves it also has cholesterol lowering effect at higher doses folate works with vitamin b12 to help to form the rbc that is red blood cell it is needed for the production of dna which control tissue growth and cell functions any woman who is pregnant should be sure to get enough folate low levels of folate are linked to birth defects such as spina bifida many foods are now fortified with folic acids so pantothenic acid is essential for the metabolism of food it also plays a role in the production of hormones and cholesterol riboflavin which is also called as vitamin b2 work with the other b vitamin it is important for body growth and the production of red blood cells so the thymine which is called as vitamin b1 which help the body self to change the carbohydrate uh, into energy getting enough carbohydrate is very important during pregnancy and uh, breastfeeding it is also essential for heart functions and healthy nerve cells choline helps in normal functioning of the brain and nervous system lack of choline can cause swelling in the liver carnitine help the body to change fatty acids into the energy so it is very important it is very important to know the alternative names of the vitamins and their biological functions so deficiency symptoms so in these tables we'll discuss uh, different Uh, water soluble vitamins so as per as alternative names what is the name of alternate uh, for uh, vitamins and their biological functions and what are different symptoms of deficiency we'll see in brief so as per as thymine is concerned it is also called as b1 and the main function of vitamin b1 is the component of a coenzyme in carbohydrate and metabolism so the symptoms of deficiency is concern so impairment of the nerves and the heart muscle wasting 
as per as second vitamin is concerned riboflavin which is called as vitamin b2 so it is very important uh, as per as the energy production lipid vitamin mineral absorption drug metabolism antioxidant component of the coenzymes and other functions but the deficiency cause inflammation of the skin tongue lips other disturbances of the uh, nervous disorders or nervous system symptoms as per as next vitamin niacin is concerned so it is also called as nicotinic acid or nicotinamide so it regulate the cellular metabolism oxidation of the fuel molecules and fatty acids and steroid compounds and so on if we are not getting niacin in large quantity in our diet so it leads to the deficiency of skin lesions gastrointestinal disturbances nervous symptoms the next vitamin that is b6 it is also called as it is also called as pyridoxine so the next vitamin is vitamin b6 next vitamin is vitamin b6 which is also called as pyridoxine as per as metabolism is concerned so it regulate the metabolism of amino acids and other nitrogenous containing compounds which synthesis the hemoglobin uh, neurotransmitters regulation of blood glucose level in our body as per as deficiency of vitamin 6 is concerned so it leads into the various dermatitis mental depression confusion and so on it leads to the deficiency of anemia also the next vitamin that is folic acid which is also called as folate as per as regulation is concerned so the component of the coenzymes in the dna synthesis metabolism of amino acids which required for cell division and other functions if deficiency of folic acid is there so it leads to the impaired formation of the rbc weakness irritability headache and other uh, disorders or defects in the fetus the next vitamin that is vitamin b12 which is also called as cobalamin or sometimes we used to call it as cyanocobalamin which regulate the metabolism of amino acids fatty acids and other blood formations or neurological functions if deficiency of vitamin b is there in our body so it leads to the smoothness of the tongue gastrointestinal disturbances nervous systems the next vitamin next slide the next vitamin that is uh, pantothenic acid so the pantothenic acid is having metabolism of coenzyme a essential for metabolism of carbohydrate proteins fat and other cofactors which are uh, responsible for the elongation of fatty acids if the deficiency of pantothenic acid in our body which leads for the weakness gastrointestinal disturbances nervous symptoms fatigue sleep disturbances restless and nausea in addition to that the next vitamin that is biotin so this biotin is very important as per as cofactor of carbohydrate fatty acid metabolism in addition to amino acid metabolism if deficiency of biotin is there then what diseases we can uh, face in our body so dermatitis hair loss then conjunctivitis then uh, neurological symptoms then vitamin c this is very common everybody knows about this vitamin c which is also called as ascorbic acid so this is also important in the regulation of antioxidants synthesis of collagen carnitine amino acid and hormones immune functions enhances the absorption of non heme iron uh, from the plant foods if deficiency of this vitamin c is there in our body which leads in the swollen and bleeding of the gums uh, which is called as scurvy disease so soreness and uh, stiffness of the joints and lower extremities bleeding under the skin and the deep tissues slow wound healing and anemia as per as fat soluble vitamins are concerned so fat soluble vitamins are very less that is vitamin a 
सो विटामिन ए इज ऑल्सो कॉड एज रेटिनॉल और रेटिनल और रेटिनोइक एसिड एज पर एज फंक्शन आर कंसर्न सो दिस विटामिन ए इज हेल्पफुल फॉर नॉर्मल विजन इंटेग्रिटी ऑफ द एपिथेलियल सेल्स देन रिप्रोडक्शन एम्ब्रियोनिक डेवलपमेंट ग्रोथ एंड इम्यून रेस्पॉन्स वट विल हैपन इफ विटामिन ए डिफिशियंसी इज देयर इन अवर बॉडी सो ऑक्यूलर डिस्टर्बेंसेस लीडिंग टू द ब्लाइंडनेस ग्रोथ रिटार्डेशन ड्राई स्किन डायरिया एंड अदर डिफरेंट इन्फेक्शियस डिसीजेस एज पर एज विटामिन डी इज कंसर्न सो दिस विटामिन डी इज द हॉर्मोन एंड कैल्सिफेरॉल कैलाट्रायल दिस ऑल्टरनेट नेम एज पर एज functions of vitamin d is concerned which maintain the blood calcium and phosphorus level in our body so proper mineralization of bones takes place in with the help of vitamin d what will happen if deficiency of vitamin d is there in our body so the defective bone growth in the children soft bones in adults as far as vitamin e is concerned so this vitamin e is also called as alpha tocopherol or tocopherol or sometimes we used to call it as tocotrienol so this is very important as per as regulation of antioxidants in our body interruption of free radical chain reactions in our body protection of polyunsaturated fatty acids and cell membranes so if deficiency of vitamin e is there in our body which leads in the peripheral neuropathy breakdown of rbc that is red blood cells in our body as per as vitamin k is concerned so this vitamin k is also called as pyloquinone or minoquinone or minadion or naphthoquinone as per as functions of this vitamin k is concerned so this vitamin k synthesis of protein takes place with the help of vitamin k which involve in the blood coagulation and bone metabolism so deficiency of vitamin k is concerned so deficiency of k vitamin leads in the impaired clotting of the blood and internal bleeding so in our uh, research center in our laboratory in our college uh, we have work on the vitamin uh, c uh, vitamins isolation of vitamins from plant origin this is the research paper which is published in the international research uh, journal journal of experimental sciences so myself i have work uh, for the isolation of different vitamins from the plants uh, various vegetables we uh, we have use to isolate various vitamins like cyanocobalamin ascorbic acid folic acid so uh, this was isolated from this paper one more paper we have published and this is the paper uh, from this uh, paper the findings we have published that is thiamine riboflavin pyridoxine and lpc from different Uh, plant origin lpc means leaf protein concentrate which contain large amount of vitamins so this is a very good finding uh, from our uh, research laboratory so with this uh, we have completed the chapter on based on the vitamins in detail we have discussed in this chapter definitions types of vitamins sources of vitamins functions of vitamins what are the alternate names of the vitamins and what are the deficiency disorders of the vitamins so at last i am thankful to you all for today's lecture so with this we'll stop here thank you so much